Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. To keep my energy up and to stay um, creatively fresh, I wanted to explore something else in this video rather than keep working on my film. I recently had the idea that maybe for future projects I could create a 3D character that would blend in well with my more 2D looking style. I don't think I would try to replace my main characters with 3D animated ones, as I think it just doesn't look the same, but for filling a scene, creating a crowd and uh, to use as background elements, maybe a 3D character could be useful. I'm a big fan of the look of a 2D traditionally animated character, but let's say I want to set my future films in a city setting and have crowds of people in the background, then I'm not so fond of the hours I would have to spend animating those. So I wanted to create a character that could easily be customized and have varied animations added to it to make the whole process a lot more pleasant. So I started by modeling a somewhat basic character shape for this. I kept the proportions a bit more on the stylized side of things, so his upper body is quite large compared to his legs. To model this guy, I first drew a front and side view of the body shape I imagined. That helped as I could then use these as guides during the modeling process, and also I knew what I sort of was aiming for. Modeling is a whole topic on its own and I will have to cover that in another video, not here. But I made him relatively low poly, as that makes the texturing process quite a bit easier, and it also makes the character very non-heavy for animations, or if you want. A lot of copies of him. I will have to create a female version of this one at some point too, but this was just my first test so I just made one model so far. I UV mapped him in a pretty rough way, just a front view and a back view basically. I don't really need an incredibly fine-tuned character as the main purpose is to use him for backgrounds, so I, I take whatever shortcuts I can. Painting some textures proved to work well though, I made a bunch of different ones and uh, by just adding variations to the textures I could create a whole range of different characters. My main goal from the start was not to have to animate these myself, but rather use the amazing library of animations that Adobe's Mixamo platform provides. I just uploaded my base mesh there and within a few minutes I could apply any of their animations to my custom character. To vary my character even more, I just played around modeling a few accessories for them. This is pure research and development for me at this stage, so there's no real vision behind any of these guys, purely me trying things out to learn and develop. But I could not make a bunch of characters like this without testing them in some form of context, so I decided to create a scene to find a good balance where the backgrounds and these characters complemented each other in a nice way. I enjoyed diving into some world building and spent a good day or two modeling and texturing objects to populate this scene. I'm happy with the look and how the combination of painted textures and the 3D structures joined together. It ended up featuring some kind of backstreet fight circle and I think this geezer here has seen better days. For rendering I combined a pass of a realistically lit redshift render with some sketch and tune outlines. I also played around with shading some elements fully unlit, or you could say non-affected by the lights of the scene, to add a more drawn feel to it all. I will share a lot more over on my Patreon if you want to know more details about how this is done. You can also get access to the character over there if you want to play around with the same guy. I will still make YouTube videos of course, but if you want to dive in deeper and get more info on my process then feel free to join me over there. The link is below in the description. I have some ideas I want to try out with this character setup. I want to explore combining them with a main character that is 2D animated and see how well that goes. Creating shorter tests like this can really be a motivation booster. I'm still very excited to carry on working on my film project of course, but having some small side projects going on in parallel is always nice too. Hope you guys enjoyed this little breakdown. Thanks for watching and feel free to hit subscribe and massive thanks to my Patreon crew for their support. Making more things over there will help me focus more of my time onto these projects, meaning I can also share more here on YouTube. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.